Hello! One of the greatest things about Moodle is the fact that you don't really have to remember very much, including your password. What happens if you forget your password and you want to get back in? It's you, you know it, but the system doesn't recognize the password that you had added. In fact, you're not even sure whether your username is the right one. So what do you do? Well, very simple. Reading comprehension. In other words, all you have to do is simply follow the instructions. Instead of logging in, you click on forgotten your username or password. And then you get a message to reset your password. Submit your username or your email, but not both. And then you get this conversation. If we can find you in the database, an email will be sent to your email address with instructions how to get access again. So you're lucky. There is a solution. The only thing you need to do is remember either your username or the email that you registered when you created an account on the Moodle website. Now, in case you don't remember either of these, all you have to do is ask your instructor and then the admin of the Moodle will be able to retrieve your username or your email address. But let's say that you know your username. Let's see what happens. You choose your username. There's mine, Nellie Muller. And then you follow it by clicking on continue. You don't choose both, you only choose one, continue. When you click on continue, you go into your email box and this is what you find. An email, this is my Google Gmail, admin, and you get two messages notice, two. You look at the first one and you'll get them one at a time, of course. And this is the message. Hi Nelly, someone, probably you, has requested a new password for your account. And at the university, Atlantic University, to confirm this and have a new password sent to you through email, go to the following web address. Now, in order to confirm, you must click on this web address, nothing else, and make sure that all the websites that are open for Atlantic universities are closed. Next, once you click here, you get another message. This time, thank you for confirming the change of password. An email containing your new password, this is a second email from the system, has been sent to your address at, this is my email, the new password was automatically generated. You might like to change your password to something easier to remember. You click on change your password or just on continue. And then you wait. A second email appears from the admin user at Atlantic University. And the message is this, Hi Nelly, your account password at Atlantic University has been reset and you've been issued with a new temporary, because you're going to change it, password. Your current login information is now, here's my username and this password, which you'll never remember. So I suggest you copy it. Keep it on your mouse. Click on this new, and this is really important, link that was sent with the second email message and it says please go to this page to change your password and then it explains in most mail programs this should appear as the blue link which it is which you can just click on if that doesn't work then cut and paste the address into the address line at the top of your web browser window cheers from atlantic university administrator next now once you click, you come back, returning to this website. Log here. So you log in, your username you know. You add 
by pasting the new password that you received, the temporary one, the new one you got, and you click login. Next, once you click login, you get another pop-up. This time, it gives you a chance to change your password. So here is my username, and then you again paste the old one, the temporary one that you got, that is so difficult to remember, and add your new password twice to make sure. And don't forget to save and then next. Now when you change your password, don't forget the one that you got and then add yours and click Save Changes and then it'll say Password has been changed. Continue. It's a process, but don't forget Moodle is password protected. It's a very, very secure website. And that's it. Thank you.